right, guys. DJ the Old Master today with a battle report with the cleric versus the samurai. So these guys, you guys haven't played each other. He's just been no. circling around. Right. Yep. So, uh, beta fish. Beta fish. ooh, beta f- Williams will die, and one will get flushed down the commode. I'll probably one getting flushed. Woohoo! The, we're, if this keeps up, we're off to call you the Delhi Dynamo. I know, right? <laughs> and you have to bring in like your Delhi hat. The heat oh, so we're uh, they're doing. You guys are doing one fifteen. Yep. Uh, he's using some of my vehicles. Humvees are actually um, BDB twos. Yeah. BDB twos. The mission they're playing is outflank. So uh, Samurai's defender because he doesn't do defender a lot. Let's right. get used to it. So cleric has an objective here. An objective here. Uh, you have one unit in ambush and 46 points in reserve. Yeah, I don't have anybody in ambush. It's all in reserve. Okay. You can pick a unit in ambush, and then they'll, they'll, they're not on the table if you want to. It's uh, probably best you pick a unit. Yeah. It'd be one of the units on the table now. I'd go infantry Samurai. or your big tanks. Big tanks in ambush or even... Well, you don't have any... It isn't, you don't have any aircraft. Yeah, no. neither one of us plays aircraft. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> if, if, you, if you pull them off... And then you can pop ambush during your turn, Samurai. What, the 64s? If you want yeah. to, yeah, that way it's hard for him to take them out. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. All right, so there'll be an ambush. Because you never really defend, so, like, you don't. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. So that's, and you're kind of deployed everywhere. Go over what your stuff looks like. You have, what, three artillery units still? Yeah, my, uh, my hurricanes. Okay. Um, the Acacias. Okay. And my Nona's Behind the Hill. Okay. Um, two t- t- Tungaskas, which at least I could shoot at ground targets if they survive. Okay. Um, four BMP-3s I have. Their infantry is in there. Okay. Um, the BMD-2s, the infantry's are in them. Okay. Uh, four Gaskins. Which- okay. Okay. Now, you do know you can start infantry out of the transports if you wanted to. Right. But, because they'll be in foxholes if they're on the ground. Which is bulletproof cover. Yeah, which is no yeah. bulletproof cover, and you still count as having concealment. I'm... I mean, I'm just giving you a, I'm just yeah. giving you an idea, buddy. That's all. I might... I might... I don't know if I want to do that. Or... Well, we'll let you think about it. We'll go over the clerics list. So, right. uh, you, uh, you, you kind of like, what, heavy on this one side here? Yeah, it's my Dutch Canadians, and I used my, uh my spearhead to get out as far as I could. Okay. So, uh, it's my Dutch and Canadians again. Okay. So, it's the HQ and the Panzer Infantry. All right. I went with the light on the far corner. Okay. Heavy way over here in the wheat field. Okay. Uh, just trying to push a side on him. Uh, coming around, we have mm-hmm. that uh, Canadian uh, Leopard 1 formation. So, I got three of them here, and they're mm-hmm. kind of spread out nice. 109's behind the hill. Okay. And you gotta love Pratt's on a hill. Yeah. Uh, it's nice you can take a unit of four. I wish yeah. the Americans could do it with uh Well, you guys have the toe too. Yeah. We just still with the toe one. Right. Uh, all of my awesome AA that is going to prove so pivotal in this game against the Samurai. Right. Just in foxholes chilling out in the back here. So Okay. Uh, you know that my uh, Geppards are going to see some action. Yep. So we'll introduce Samurai to those. Okay. Uh, all of my infantry is starting in the transport. So yep. the Canadians right here and then the heavy infantry over here. So okay. I do have a good bit sitting here that I'm able to uh, hopefully push and, okay. and see what happens. And I forgot, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this yeah. is um, the uh, artillery. Observer. FO. Okay. The FO. Uh, and then we do have one Fast and Furious car. <laughs> uh, he's here because of family. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll uh so attacker has turn one yep. uh missions i believe are live uh turn one we'll have to check it out yeah. when yeah. we come back it'll be after dutch canadian turn one Mary yeah get kids this is probably the first announcement announcement don't drink grimace shakes <laughs> don't do it all right so that was the end of dutch canadian turn one Yep. Uh, walk us through what happened. There's some movement. Looks uh, like yeah. there's smoke got thrown up somewhere. Yeah, well, I need to kind of protect my Leo 2s for a turn, so I threw up smoke there. Okay. They didn't fire, okay. so trying to protect them. Moved everybody up and out a little bit. Uh, okay. Decided that these guys were going to try to shoot Samurai's infantry a little bit. So these guys there did manage to take out an infantry base. 
These three mm -hmm. shot at his Tunguskas. I only hit with one shot. Oh, wow. Did manage to hit one of them and take it out. Okay. The only real thing that happened is my artillery, the 109s, went to work and a repeat bombardment into the building. Mm -hmm. Took out a couple infantry stands and a couple of uh, RPGs. Okay. So, seeing what All right. Samurai has for me. Okay, so this is turn one Samurai. Um, do you have immediate reserves or is it delayed? Immediate reserves, defender. Okay, so uh, go ahead and roll a dice for one of your reserves there, brother. Yeah. Yes. And then we'll figure out where it comes in on what you're bringing, and we'll come back after Soviet turn one. All right, so that was the end of Soviet turn one. So you had uh, some T-64s come on from reserves. Right. Uh, this guy didn't run. This guy's kind of stayed. Uh, they moved up. Yeah. He popped your ambush. Uh, your group of tanks moved over. And what did you end up doing, Samurai? You ended up bailing some stuff out, ranging in. Yeah. Um, let's see. I uh, ended up bailing out uh, a tank over here. Okay. And you ranged in, and luckily uh, you made your saves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you moved your BMPs over here, BMP2s, uh, bailed out those three. And then with uh, the one guy, the commander... You dropped a minefield on top of the Leos, and then one T-64 didn't use the spot, bailed out a guy. And then what, you you use your uh, mortars to drop smoke across his front, blocking like that whole corner from seeing over here. Um, your infantry didn't do anything, just stayed still. Yeah. Stayed still. And that, it's pretty much it, buddy. You've done, you're doing really good so far now. So we're going on to Dutch Canadian turn two. Yeah. Uh, some smokes going away. Got some remounts, and uh, some guys are stuck in a minefield. So yeah, we'll be back. Be yeah. All right. So that was the end of Dutch Canadian turn two. Uh, Claire, kind of go walk us through what ended up happening. There was a lot of shooting and pretty yeah. close calls. I know I can't touch his uh, big boys over there, mm -hmm. so I just kind of shuffled everybody around. Did manage to laze and blaze through here and take okay. out the rest of those. Oh, yeah. So. The, the BMP-5s, those are a menace. Yeah. The BIMPs. Yeah, the BIMPs. There's a BMP. Let's start that. Let's yeah. yeah. we'll start wearing a shirt. <laughs> Trying to get into his mind. Play the yeah. psychological game. I yeah. uh, moved up my uh, YPRs. They okay. shot at the building and didn't do a whole lot. Did bail out this guy here. Yep. Uh, the Canadian Infantry went ahead and jumped out. Transports skittered off. Uh, shot at the building. Mm -hmm. um, tried to blow through the smoke. Didn't have enough room. So instead yeah. of putting them half in, half out, why not just hide them behind for a little bit? Uh, nothing really going on over here. I did manage to observe through the crack here. Yep. For the mortar and did hit it on turn. Or first, first attempt. Yeah. yeah. Just you couldn't hit nobody. No yeah. ones and twos. So that's how it's going for the mortars today. Uh, tried the Verkennings to get to take care of the minefield. That did not happen. So I popped out my infantry and got them into range. Hopefully yep. next turn we can yep. deal with that. The one guy got in there, was they made a skill check. Uh, so next turn, or you'll be able to clear the minefield. Yeah, re uh, in my artillery, managed to bail two of his two of his heavy tanks. Yep. Uh, and then split fire with my Leo 2s. To try to, yeah, trying to hit them. He was... Just in 40 inches and managed to laze and blaze his uh, hurricanes. So put him down to a squall now. Yep. All right. And then uh, did manage to hit two of his tanks, but uh, didn't. Uh, he failed. He passed one. Yeah, one bounced. And then the other one, he failed it, but then you rolled the firepower and then he made his remount because he bounced it to a bailed guy. Yeah. So that's. um. Now we're going on to the bottom of turn two, Soviets. Right. So uh, roll another dice for reserves, Samurai. Roll two dice for reserves. Let's see what you're going to get. So you get another unit, unit, and it comes on that 16 corner over there, and you have a couple units to pick from. Right. Uh, we'll be back after Samurai, Soviet Samurai turn two. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of Soviet turn two. Um... Samurai, uh, you had some units like run away. A couple of guys failed to remount, but they're still good. 
Um, another group of BMP fives came on. Threes. Uh, threes. There's every tree inside those ones, right? Too correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, these guys moved up. These guys, them both shooting, knocked out and bailed some more uh, Leo ones. Uh, these guys repeated artillery. Um, knocked out a Leo two. I needed a two to tie and a three to beat, and I rolled a one. Right. <laughs> These guys kind of stayed here, bailed out all three of them somehow, and then the mortars repeated, uh, knocked out Leo one, and then these guys that uh, repeat over here, but I think they made their saves. Yeah, dude. And then this lone uh, BMP five stayed, bailed out those two, and then these guys fired their RPGs and knocked out one uh, one one three. So we're going on to turn three. Uh, Dutch Canadians got some remounts, hopefully, no leaderships, and then uh, a minefield order to get that minefield out of the way. Yeah, well, he, he'll, he'll make it this time because he just, just give the order because he starts in it and it'll go away automatically. Yeah, yep. There's no test because the people used to think there's a test, it's just like if you survive and stay there, you give the order, you don't move, and the minefield is removed. Okay, okay, so. It's kind of a nice way, because if you had to do another test, that would suck. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll be back after this turn three. All right, so that was the end. So that was the end of turn uh, three, Dutch Canadians. Um, kind of walk us through what happened, Claire. Yeah, it was uh, productive, but not as productive as I'd like. There's like carnage happening. Yeah, uh, my Leopard ones, they just decided to come around, put some rounds into his uh, vehicles. Did manage to kill a base, but slowing them down a little bit, that's the point. Uh, brought over my command Leos. Mm -hmm. They did manage to do some damage on the building. Yeah, they knocked some dudes out. You gotta love that brutal shot. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk about the mess in the middle here in a minute. Yeah, the hand-to-hand. Uh, hand. Hand. My uh, PTRLs did manage to finish off the last PMP3. Mm -hmm. The Canadian infantry actually did pretty good. Helped uh, pin the guys. Yeah. Uh, didn't really take any. It was the Leos that finally were taken out... Uh, the uh, RPGs. Okay. So swung my uh, my Leo twos around. Mm -hmm. So I got to move my Prats next turn. They're not actually in range of anything. Wanted to do it last turn. Yeah. Brought my Leo twos over after we cleared out the minefield. Yep. Dude got rid of the minefield. Yep. So we moved over here, uh, just trying to swing to support this other flank. Uh, then you did knock out some more of the BMP twos. Yeah, he's only got two left over there. Couldn't no seal the deal. Knocked out a, a mortar over there. It looks like. Yeah. And then so. bailed out another T sixty four on the hill. Yep. Uh, into the middle. Decided I tried to assault. It didn't exactly work out the way I wanted. He, he tried to. pushing a dude in the courtyard. Yeah, and it went horribly. One guy completely failed to get in. He got blowed up going and in and lost the dragon base, which is fine. Yeah. And then the other one lost in hand-to-hand. -hand. I didn't realize how bad they were. Yeah. So we're not going to be doing that move anymore. No. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're well, going... Just shooting and shooting and more shooting. So... All right. So we're going on to Soviet turn three. Um, you roll three dice. You still have, like, what, three units in reserve? Yes. Yeah, Storms, the HQ, okay. and... Um, two HQs, basically. Yeah. Uh, Storms and the AA... So just roll your roll that bean footage. One. So one's coming in. You get to pick. It comes in on that side. Looks like you have some unpinning, some remounts, uh, and maybe a few leadership tests on some. On a side note, you don't have to have a unit come in if you don't want to. Oh. You know, just. Oh no, I want something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to regret it, but I'm going to bring in the storms. All right, I was wondering when they were going to come play. All right, we'll be back. So that's the end of turn uh, three, um, Soviets. So a bunch of your stuff moved up Samurai, right? unpinned. Uh, you rearranged in your Hurricanes, landed right here, but failed to get anybody, surprisingly. Um, you bailed these three guys back out again. They failed to get back in. Um, Shooting-wise... But you knocked out one Leo here. Another Leo. You Bam. bailed out that Leo. Then you knocked out a Gephardt with uh, RPGs. Two, two RPG shots. Both. Uh, Pin the infantry again. I think you bailed out this one one three. Yeah. And oh, your storms came on. They're kind of on the top of the hill. That's kind of really it. Yeah. Um, we're going on to turn four. 
Uh, Dutch Canadians. I know what I'm going to have to do. Huh. I can manage to make some some uh, remounts. Them, yeah, them guys need to get back in. All right, you're not the, the Guildmaster's not going to like what I'm going to do if they if they get back in. But I, I, I don't. Really, it don't matter to me. Like I'm not I, playing. <laughs> I really have no choice. All right, we'll be back. And we're back. <laughs> so that was the end of uh, Dutch Canadian turn four. Um, a lot of people moved up and dismounted. Yeah, we're pushing. Uh, you blew like a bunch of people out of the building, but two guys, three guys are still alive in there. Is it just an RPG base and a regular infantry base are keeping me from victory? Uh, on this mission, the, the objectives win on turn six, but we're yeah. getting close. Yeah. Uh, you did knock out one T sixty four with some four shots from the Leo two. Leo so twos. He's... Uh, you knocked out and bailed out the last uh, BDR twos. Yep. And uh, then uh, the M sixty fours on the hill. Yeah, managed to bounced. knock out one more hurricane. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, the other one is pinned now. Um, that's getting, it, really. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. So we're going on a Soviet turn four. Uh, one auto comes on, but you still roll four dice. Right. And because if you roll a bunch of fives, a bunch of stuff's coming on. So you have how many units in reserve? Three. One, two, three. So uh, roll four dice, Samurai. All fives uh, bring stuff on. If not, Samurai says. So you're bringing uh, one unit on. Uh, you probably bring your T sixty four one if I was you. Yeah. All right, we'll be back after uh, Soviet Samurai turn four. So that was the end of uh, Soviet Samurai turn four. Uh, what'd you you moved up? One guy got back in. Right. Um, that guy made leadership. Your Winona's moved. This guy unpinned stayed. Infantry and T sixty fours and BMP fives move forward. Um, what all did you end up? You just what knocked out a couple of transports. A bunch of infantry died. Yeah, I moved the, uh, I moved the donors. Okay, shot a couple of these or uh, at the one one threes. Yeah, you knocked out the YPRs with his tanks. With the tanks, I... these guys moved up, shot, and missed. Um. You brought one command tank on. He, 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 he freaking boogied up there. Yeah. And that's about it, Sam. We're going to turn five. Yeah. So this will be turn five of a Canadian Dutch. Uh, this might decide it, but it doesn't go until turn six. So we'll be back. Oh, boy. So that was the end. Dutch Canadian turn five. Um, what? Yeah. I was always I taking care of some business. What's going on? What all happened while I was going? All right. I uh, swung my Canadian HQs back. Uh -huh. Managed to uh, destroy the last two BMPs and all of the infantry inside. Oh, wow. Finally. Honestly, forgot to move my Leo 2s around, but that's okay. <laughs> They're hiding right now. Uh, backed mm -hmm. up my Leo, pulled around the other Leo 1s. They managed okay. to fire into the building. Okay. They were the unit that did finally pin his infantry. Okay. So, brought my hammerhead off the hill finally. Yeah. So, going to try to see if I can push his corner here. Okay. Uh, the commander finally got out of his transport is hiding up in the building now okay to support the assault that took place shuffled yeah. stuff around here just to kind building of building roof come off yeah just to kind pandemonium of other than that i mean it's kind of getting down to that nitty gritty where we're almost done with it okay so. looks like these two guys got bailed out yeah yeah the assault happened the one group got pushed back with casualty the second group took a casualty they made it in hand to hand happened uh the canadians came out on top yeah, they, they killed a guy Guy had to fall back. He or a guy counterattacked. Yeah, but you fell back. So like you are still within the scrum. Um, but now I'm in the building too, and that's what counts. Yeah, so he's on the up floor. You're on the down floor. Yeah. Uh, we're pretty sure you could do it that way, guys, because there's not many guys left. So now we're going on to the bottom of turn five. Yep. Um, if Samurai can't push these guys off, there's a lot to do. And because if you can push the rest of his tanks in there. This might end up turning into a draw. Yeah. It'll be a 3-3 draw. So we'll we'll, we'll finish this yeah. turn out, and we'll kind of see and evaluate what's going to happen. Uh, you still have two hits in reserve. In reserve. Might as well roll your five dice. <laughs> 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 Luckily, they're singular units. They're not like, uh -huh. like big stuff. And the one, I mean, I don't think he's really going to worry about his anti-air asset coming in. Okay, they all come on. <laughs> well, they, they can throw shots in the building. Yeah. yeah. 
don't think I'm in range, but yeah. But you, uh, you figure, Greg, you can come clear over here, 16, buddy. You can drive up over that hill into the scrum. Yeah. So we'll come back after this turn. All right. Yeah, you have to, take, you have to hold it within four. So, uh, Samurai, you, you just kind of moved up. Yeah. Uh, bailed some vehicles out, knocked out another Leo 1, pushed forward, assaulted. Didn't smush any infantry, but he counterattacked. You failed yours. You fell back. So... Yeah, we're going on to six. turn six, and we'll see what happens. Okay. So we, we're calling it for time now is the bottom of the turn. Um, Cleric assaulted. Uh, Saul got stopped by the T-64s. Um, we're, it's going to be a draw. Yeah. 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Samurai can't keep him eight inches away from the objectives, and he can't get him away from four inches of the objectives. So it's going to be a 3-3 three, three draw. Uh, really good game. It was. It yeah. was an excellent game. Um, what did you guys think of this mission in particular? And obviously, now that's a few more times you've run a T-64s Samurai. I think uh, you've only lost actually one <laughs> and bailed one in this game. Yep. And it's not from lack of trying. No, no, no I was putting rounds in on You know what I mean? The thing that, that hurt me was... These T sixty fours got stuck here for what four turns? Yeah. Well, it was kind of nice though because they were close to where you needed them to be for the, right. the counter attack on that objective. Yeah. So like T sixty fours being stuck for a while wasn't really that bad. My biggest thing was driving underneath the templates, his artillery templates. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. Then my minefield tied me up for a while. Well, when Soviet artillery, because there's so much of it so cheaply, yeah. if it's pre-ranged in like it was in this game, or you get lucky, it's brutal because there's so many pie plates you're running through. Yeah. And I was kind of weary of investing in three artillery units. We well, sold on them, huh? Yeah. yeah kind of sold on it now. Well, yeah, for the missions where you have ranged in markers, the fact that you have three, so it's for you, it's like a one-third chance. Right. Well, now you have... Three one third chances. So someone's probably gonna do the math for us. Uh, it's gonna be like, well, cause that's like a, it's literally a, a three and a half or three slash two percent, like some weird Poindexter number. But uh, I love my math hammer guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could usually do it on top of my head, but I'm not about yeah. to. <laughs> but uh, no, that was a good game though. No, like oh, I said, yeah, it was, only got a chance to play. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this okay. means though the first time these two have played is. Mm. A draw. Yeah. yeah so. One one. Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. Uh huh. So, all right, guys. If you like what we're doing, the like whole and share. yeah, that whole subscribe button thing. We're trying to grow. If we can get to a thousand, which would be awesome, we could start doing some more stuff. They said we have a Etsy store. We can get these cool shirts and some other stuff. We have a Patreon, but no patrons. But there's uh there's some benefits. You can like talk to us directly. We'll do lists and stuff like that. We're always up to chat. Yeah, we're looking. So we're trying to we're trying to build the, the thing. Yeah. Uh, but all right, guys. Until next time, this is the Guildmaster with cleric, the cleric, samurai, the samurai. Till next time, guys. Peace.